Now, our today's topic is atmospheric pressure. Now, the first thing we need to understand is that in the atmosphere, we have gravity that presses objects downward. So, this whole gravity exerts pressure in the air, in the atmosphere. Then, the air transfers the pressure on any object on the surface of Earth. Therefore, the pressure exerted by the air per unit area on the surface of air is called atmospheric pressure. Now, how are we going to prove that we have pressure in the atmosphere? So if we use if we use pipe to take water and you close the top part of it, you see that the water will not drop. Because in the atmosphere we have pressure that's pressing it downward. And you have closed that side. Then we have pressure that is also pre pressing it upward. It's that one that is holding water or liquid inside the pipe. Moment to remove your hand here. So there will be atmospheric pressure at the top, which will be added to the pressure due to the liquid inside the pipe. At the end of the day, you see that the moment you remove your hand, the water will drop. You can see it now. See that the water drop. The analysis of that is, let's say we have, this is the pipe. Then there is liquid inside like this. The expression due to the liquid acting downward. There is atmospheric pressure acting upward. So if this place is closed, so you discover that the pressure, atmospheric pressure here will be greater than pressure due to the liquid. So it will hold the liquid to not drop. But the moment you now open this place, it means there is corresponding atmospheric pressure here acting downward. So it means the total sum of pressure acting downward will be atmospheric pressure here plus pressure due to the liquid, which will be greater than atmospheric pressure acting upward. So at the end of the day, you see water dropping. Then, that shows that we have atmospheric pressure in the atmosphere. Then we have other applications. Uh, uh, applications of atmospheric pressure, I have five of them here. The first one is what I said, uh, it is applicable in Zyphon to transfer liquid. For instance, if you have, you can see it, water is dropping. If, if water is more than this, it will continue dropping. So, which shows that there is certain pressure that's pressing water downward here. So, let me explain it. You see this, my diagram. We have atmospheric pressure here, pressing the water downward. Then, that force, that pressure will now force the water in through the pipe. And water will just come down and use another container to collect it. And this is not only applications of atmospheric pressure. We still have it in what? In syringe to inject or eject liquid. We use it in what? Lift or common pump to lift every load. We use it in bicycle pump to compress air into the tire. We also use it in what? In force pump to lift water, or to lift water. So those are the major five real life applications of atmospheric pressure. So inshallah, this will be the end of our video for this term. The next time we are going to continue from the next topic.